welcome back to my channel. With Valentine's Day coming up, I decided to do a makeup tutorial on this look here. It's got soft pinks and it's really girly and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day or for a first date or for any date really, anytime you don't want to look too made up but you still want to look nice and pretty. So if you'd like to see how to get this look here, then just keep on watching. So like normal, I'm going to start with my Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This is just going to help with the longevity of the makeup and it's also going to help um, minimize the appearance of your pores as well. So you just want to rub this into your skin and then give it a bit of a chance to settle in before you apply your foundation over top of it. So then for foundation, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Fit Me foundation. Um, I'm just using this because it's my favorite at the moment, but you can use your favorite foundation or whichever one that you have. I'm just applying one coat of this all over my face. You can apply two coats, build it up if you like, um, but the coverage for me with one coat is enough because I don't need too much coverage on my face. It's really more just to even out my skin tone and give the rest of my makeup a base to stick onto. So now because we don't want to be looking tired on our date, I'm going to be using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is just a very bright shade for me and it's got a very thick consistency so I'm just going to be dotting this under my eyes and just using this to lighten up that area. Normally you would draw sort of a triangle shape under your eyes, but this has got really thick coverage so I find that I've got too much product if I do that, which is why I just dot it instead. So after I've blended that in with my finger, I'll just take my foundation brush and just pat that over the same area just so it blends more seamlessly with my foundation. So now to set that all down, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. To set the concealer, I'm going to be using the lightest shade, which is this one in the middle. And that will just help to keep that area brighter than the rest of my face. And then to set my foundation, I'm going to be using this shade on the right here. onto eyes you want a good eye primer because you don't want to be worrying about your eyeshadow creasing in the middle of your date so I'm going to be using an Urban Decay primer potion sample this one is in Eden this is also going to help the eyeshadow stick to it better it'll make the colors more vibrant And then just to give that time to set in properly, I like to do my eyebrows next. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Shaper Pencil. I have this in the color blonde. And I don't like my brows to look too over the top, so I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. And just brush through your brows after you're done filling them in just to disperse the product evenly and get rid of any excess. So back to the eyeshadow. For today's look I'm going to be using the Chi Chi Pretty palette. There are a lot of nice pinks in here which is why I chose this for today's look. We want to start with a transition colour so I'm going to be putting down this matte pink shade here. It's very light and is probably the one that will blend into my skin tone the best. So we're just going to pop that in the crease and slightly above the crease as well because this is going to act as a transition colour for all the other colours that are going to go on as well. Because we want to keep the main part of the eyelid nice and bright, I'm going to be using this light pink shimmery colour over here. And I'm just going to pat this all over my eyelid, taking it right up to the crease. And you can layer as many coats of this as you want until you get the colour that you want. And then for the crease colour to add a little bit of dimension, I'm going to be taking this pink here, which is a little bit brighter. 
and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and pop it into the crease and I'm just building it up mostly in the outer corner of my eye as well as the crease So once again you can just keep adding more and more of this colour until you're happy with the pigmentation that you've got. I'm going to stop there for today because I do want this to be quite a soft look so I don't want it to be too intense and too bright. So I'm just going to add on a little bit more of my main lid colour just to make sure that it's keeping my eye nice and bright. A good tip if you do have small eyes or hooded eyes like I do is to keep your main lid colour as a very light colour like the one that we're using today um, because it just helps to brighten it up and to make your eyes look a little bit bigger. I'm not going to use eyeliner today because I'm going for a nice soft fresh look and I feel like it will suit it better if I don't use eyeliner and just go straight on to mascara. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in black. So moving on to my face, and firstly I'm going to be using the bronzer out of this Natio Bronzer and Enhancer Duo. I don't like a really heavily bronzed look, so I'm just applying a very very tiny bit of product, just to warm up my face a little bit. And then for blush, I didn't want anything too pink because we've done pink eyes and I'm also going to do pink lips at the end. So I've chosen uh, the L'Oreal Le Blush in Rosewood because this is just a very natural colour rather than being pink. As a highlight, I'm going back into the same Natio Duo and I'm going to use the Enhancer shade. So I am going to be using a pink lipstick today, but if you'd prefer to go with a nude or with a lighter pink, that's totally up to you. Both will look fine with this makeup look. The lipstick that I'm using today is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Sweet Pink. to go for a matte lipstick for this look because of course it's Valentine's Day you might be wanting to kiss someone and so if you are you want your lipstick to still have some color left after you've done that so that is why a matte lipstick is perfect for Valentine's Day or for any date really so that is the completed look I think this is perfect for Valentine's Day it's perfect for your first date just any time that you want to have really soft and girly makeup Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I am uploading two videos a week at the moment on Mondays and Thursdays, so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also leave me a comment down below letting me know what your plans are for Valentine's Day, and I will see you next time. Bye!